hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Red Lentil Healing. Did y'all know I got a little bit of grease for you? Grease is, you know, vernacular for gossip. Um, <laughs> got a little gossip for you. Grease gossip. Did y'all know that Madison Cawthorn boarded, attempted to board a plane in February with a loaded gun? <laughs> yes. So apparently he was at Asheville Regional Airport. Had himself a little loaded pocket pistol. Again, this is, okay, alleged, I can't even really say it allegedly because the news, like there's multiple reports that verify this. And that they were like, whoa, buddy, pump the brakes. You know you can't bring this on the plane, right? He kind of threw a little bit of a hissy fit. And so they said, all right, since you're a representative, what we'll do, what we'll do, shh, 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 calm down, what we'll do is we'll just put it in this in little, put it in a little locker for you until you get back from your, your business trip, whatever little trip you're on. And we won't tell anybody. Months later, they're now telling people, um, and what's very interesting and why I'm bringing this up is because now there's going to be possible a possible punishment for that situation. So apparently they were able to keep it a secret until it went to trial or it's getting ready to go to trial. They're just getting ready to have some kind. He's about to face, potentially face some repercussions for, you know, trying to bring a loaded pistol to a plane. So what's the outcome? I also want to look at his energy. Um, there, I just, I don't, I don't particularly, okay. I'm trying not to influence reading. He, he's, he, and he, his, something about his energy just chaps me slightly. Um, and maybe it's a reflection of me. There's something I see in him. I, I doubt it, but you know, that's just for entertainment purposes only, which is why he irritates the, the, the light out of me. But I want to take a look at his energy recently anyway, because he's been just, there's no coincidence in the timing of this, because he's also been, um, especially with the January 6th um, committee, he's been kind of vocal and just, you know, being all douchey himself. So let's just take a look at his inner um, the outcome of, will he be punished in him? Let's pull a couple chakra cards to just take a look at his energy. So, as it pertains to the, um, to the bring the loaded gun, it starts off with the four of cups. There's an offer that he does not like. And it is crossed with the six of cups. His challenge is, uh, hmm, that's interesting. That's his challenge is being nostalgic, but let's keep going. Nine of Wands, there's a little bit of burden, a um, little battle weariness. In the recent past, there's strength, changed um, change perspective. Um, it's got him a little weary. Uh, yeah, because, you know, they come in for you. The High Priestess, very interesting, is in the recent past uh, or in the near future. Eight of Cups is in the emotions. He wants to walk away from this unscathed. However... The Sword of Truth, um, the Ace of Swords is in the environment. I don't think you will be able to. Um, the Hopes and Fears is the Sun, the Illumination. He actually hopes he can, um, his hope is that he can actually be like the little boy on the on the horse, just can kind of ride off into the sunset on this. However, a uh, couple options with the Seven of Cups. Hold on, let me do this a little clarifying here. Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and Temperance. He may be able to, um, he's going to be able to get out of this with a, probably paying some fines and um, it being on, being done. Um, not even community service, he may just have to pay a couple fines and he's done. I say that because of the Queen of Wands with the supportive action with the Three of Pentacles, um, money collaboration, and then Temperance. So yeah, um, He's going to, it's just going to be like, oh, just pay, you know, $57.97 at the next booth and you'll be good to go. Just don't do it again. Okay. Let's take a look at his energy while I'm here. <laughs> just do a quick energy read. Just pull. Because again, I, I, the reason why I wanted to pull the energy too is like, even though it's a regional airport, Whoa. 
what's going on energetically with you to make you think you can just bring in a loaded gun? You know, that's super confusing to me. But I don't know, maybe I'm just a different human being. But let's take a look. Heart chakra, ability to give and receive love without expectation and to um, without guilt. Crown chakra, connection to others, connection to spirit. Uh, root chakra, action, uh, movement, discipline, perseverance, motivation, and we got crown chakra again with guidance. So this is a person who's motivated to do um, because he to have the he has to check his motivations because the the heart chakra, especially to get the general heart chakra card is this yin and yang, the pull, the give and take. Do you give just wholly to give because you want to or do you, or are you expecting something? Check your motivations. Can you receive something either without feeling guilty or do you just continue to receive and feel nothing at all even? So there's that heart chakra. Um, the crown chakra with him. Um, it's so funny, and they're sandwiched in between the root chakra. You've got the extreme we, I, I call it the crown chakra sometimes, the we chakra, and the root chakra, the me chakra. And there's we've got a little we, me sandwich here. Guidance and crown chakra. I do believe he is a person of faith. He at least says that he is. But when it comes to religion and spirituality he views it very differently it's a one way street i it, it's very odd it is how i'm putting it one way street he should be asking for more guidance checking in to connect with spirit but it's more of a i give spirit a command and i want the command to be honored i pray I say these things, but there's a lack of a true cohesion in relationship. And I say that in relation to the action card with the root chakra, the root or the root chakra card with action. This is about discipline. This is about taking action. This is about why you do what you do. Because remember, I said your heart chakra, why, what motivates him? Is it because he really wants to do something for the greater good? Or is it because there's an expectation behind it? So he's really young. I do know that um, even in youth, developing that we chakra, some people never develop it. Or it just takes a little longer to really kind of dig into that crown chakra, that we energy, that relationship connection to spirit. And um, still even to truly working and developing on the root chakra, the action, why in doing in that discipline. So there's that. Slap on the wrist, paying a fine for having a gun and talking about a young man who could stand to do a little bit more spiritual development is how I would put it. All right, dude. May the force be with you. Till the next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye.